This program wanted to test the quality of the ecstasy being sold on the streets. To do this, we went to four separate raves. At each one, we were able to buy the drug without difficulty. The tablets each cost between 15 and 20 pounds. At a rave at Branston's Club in Hockley, we bought this drug. At the rave at the Aston Villa Sport and Leisure Centre, we bought this. At the Edge Club in Coventry, we bought this. And at a rave at the Coast to Coast Club in Birmingham City Centre, we bought this tablet. We then had the samples analysed by the poisons unit at Guy's Hospital. They contained caffeine, codeine, amphetamine and paracetamol. Two contained MDA, a potentially dangerous amphetamine relative of ecstasy. None of the four samples sold as ecstasy contained any ecstasy at all. Sixteen policemen were injured when they tried to break up an acid house party in... In all, 56 people were arrested when police raided parties in... Police have been examining firearms and drugs seized in a raid on an acid house party last night. <laughs> This was the popular face of Acid House, defiant, aggressive, anarchistic. But as the police effectively stopped the illegal parties, the music, the drugs and the philosophy behind it subtly changed. Rave is very different. Whereas Acid House was associated with violence, raves are conspicuously peaceful. Upon one thing, everybody agrees. Rave audiences are among the most friendly and charming.